We are talking today about products that I still love, that I've probably had for years. I consider these forgotten gems, and some of them are from the drugstore, but there's a couple that are higher end, but I still love them so much. But before we get into those products, there is a timestamp right here where you can jump ahead because I always show what I'm wearing for an outfit and share that with you guys. So jump ahead if you just wanna talk about the hidden gems or the forgotten gems. Also, we have a numbering system. There will be a corresponding number next to the product. Go down into the description box, look for the number and the product that we talked about will be next to it along with the link and any pertinent information that you might need in order to make a decision about whether or not you want to purchase that. All right, let's see what I am wearing today that you guys might like. Okay, we're starting off with a shirt. This is just a really cute cap sleeve square neckline t-shirt. It does have this cute ruching right here on the sleeves. I just, I think it's really great. It does come down over the butt, but I have it tucked in and I have it tucked in because of these adorable pants. These pants are super high-waisted, but they have a gathering right here. So this is an elastic waistband, and they are so comfortable and so easy to wear. They do have pockets, so you have that detail on there. The back is just flat back there, and like flat like my butt. But I love the pockets in here. And then hopefully you can also see how cute they are with the detailing down on the ankle. They're actually kind of just an ankle pant, so they're not a crop. They just hit you right at the ankle, maybe a little tiny bit above the ankle, but they have the gathering right there and then they have the tie like it does on the waist. I just think it's so cute. And I have a new pair of black sandals. I'm gonna get closer right now and I'll show you the sandals and I forgot to put the jewelry on, so I'm gonna put the jewelry on so you can see that too. The jewelry I'm gonna put on is a heart link necklace. It's gold, it's gold plated and it's just so cute. I wish that I could find this in a ton of different metal colors. I would buy it, I've said that before too. And then the earrings that I chose are just a double hoop down here. Actually, they might have three. I think they have three. It's a triple hoop and then it has rhinestones. It's just a cute dangle earring. So just goes really well together. And then let's talk about these adorable sandals. You have a little bit of a wedge heel and it is a rubber heel. It looks like wood, but it's a rubber heel. They're super duper comfortable and they have all kinds of bling rhinestones on here. When I saw this one, I thought this is for me because I am having a hard time wearing super high heels. I still do it because I love high heels, but this one is really easy to wear. It's really easy to wear in the summer without any hosiery or anything like that on. So I really have been enjoying this and it does have quite a bit of cushion in it. How cute are those? They're just so cute. That is my outfit for the day. Let's talk about the products that YouTube made me buy that I hate. But guess what? I found something different and something better. We're gonna start off with a hair care product. And I've been using this hair care product way before I ever had a YouTube channel. So I'm saying, I'm thinking I'm using this like 12 years I've been using this on my hair. And it's the It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In. This one is plus keratin. Now the reason that I go back to this, because being a YouTuber and this is my job, it's my job to test out beauty products all the time. And I do test a lot of hair care products even though we mostly talk about makeup here. My hair care pretty much stays the same unless they find something that's fairly outstanding. And this has stayed the same from the beginning of my channel until now. And that's because it's super light and I can spray this in my hair and distribute it through my hair and then comb through my hair and make sure it's all the way through it. And it does not weigh my hair down. Almost every other product that I have ever tried weighs my hair down. Now, if you guys have some suggestions for a leave-in conditioner that does not weigh your hair down, then please let me know. I'm eager to hear it and try it out. But you wanna use a leave-in conditioner specifically because when you're in the shower and you do all of that conditioning and your hair's wet and you're trying to lock in that moisture with your conditioner, when you get out of the shower, if you just blow dry your hair or air dry, all of that moisture is gonna wick away unless you have something like this that's gonna to help to seal in the moisture. So a leave-in conditioner is important. I just don't want one to weigh my hair down and it look like a grease ball in a couple days. The next product that I still love that I hardly ever hear anybody talk about anymore is the Illuminating Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray from Catrice. This was everybody's favorite just like three or four years ago. And I am finding that so many times I will pull out products like this. As a matter of fact, I went and bought this because mine was like down to here and it wasn't looking very good. So I thought, well, it's been a while. 
<laughs> but I still love it so much and using it again has reminded me that even though yes this does settle and you can see that there are glowy particles in it those particles are not glitter they're just a beautiful glow it makes you look really glowy and dewy glass like skin which is what everybody's after right now. So I think people have forgotten about this, maybe because Ulta doesn't carry Catrice anymore, but it's still one of my favorite products and I just re wanted to remind you, if you have this in your drawer, pull it back out and start using it again because it's really, really good. I have two primers in here and I know that people aren't talking about these anymore, but the one that I absolutely adore is from Revlon. This one is because it has an SPF in it and because it's a mineral sunscreen and the primer. So it is is the Revlon Color Stay Prep and Protect Broad Spectrum SPF of 34, which is good. Anything over 30 is good. Sunscreen. And like, like I said, it is the mineral sunscreen. You'll see when I pour it out here, it's that white cast that the mineral sunscreen does leave on us. But this one just it goes into your skin so great. And you've got that sun protection with your primer and yay. You can use this and be protected and still have kind of the pore refining benefits, the hydrating benefits, the barrier between your foundation and your skin so that their foundation doesn't get sucked into the skin through the day. So I really do like this. I've loved it forever. I've bought so many of these, especially in the summer. I'm using this on my hands. I'm using it on my arms. I really like it because it just has a great sunscreen and it. it really does glide across the skin well so it's going to rub in very easy like I put that on there and you can't see any white cast from it and it definitely already feels like it's starting to set down and I feel the smoothness but it's definitely not greasy at all like some mineral sunscreens are still love that still one of my very very favorite another one and this do you remember when we all went nuts for this because it was one of the very few highlighters on the market that people could wear people over 40 and beyond could wear without showing texture or you could wear it as a setting powder and get your glow on just in the middle of your face to bring that light catching effect the essence pure nude highlighter was all the rage for all of us and i bet you have one in your drawer as well as i do this one barely has the dome of it just you know worn down it's so nice this is a beautiful highlighter again because you can choose to customize it however you want as i'm putting my hand my finger in there and i'm rubbing it around i'm feeling how soft the baked product is it's just really pretty and it just gives a beautiful ethereal look it's a very very soft subtle glow it's nothing high beam or anything like that but if you want it to be more you can put more on so you could like use it as your highlighter and then you know after you're done with your makeup and you put your powder and your setting spray on touch up just a tiny bit on the highlighter points and you would have more of a highlighter i just think it's one of those ones that was so versatile and because the market's so glutted with highlighters I have not heard of anybody talk about this in such a long time. So this was definitely a forgotten gem in my drawer and so glad I pulled it back out. This is another highlighter that I think is a forgotten gem. This is the Born to Glow Liquid Highlighter from NYX. And um, it's one of the very first ones of the highlighters to come out that was a liquid highlighter. And it's so pretty because you can, again, mix this with your foundation if you want to, or you can just use it as a highlighter, you could use it as a primer underneath your foundation to have a little bit of peek through of a glow. This is a very versatile product that you could use. I really like this one. This one is like the $5 one. I think they might still sell this at Target. That's where I got this one at, but lots of places are selling minis now and I like that. Might be at Walmart too, but I like the glow that it gives. Again, you can see that this is the Essence one over here and this is the one from NYX. So this is a little bit more of a glow. It's got a little bit more intensity, but if you're a mature woman and you like cream or liquid products, this might be better for you in the long run because it's going to not dry you out either. So I think no matter which one you choose, whether you choose the Essence or this one, you're gonna get a really pretty glow on your skin. They're both really good. Another one that I think is completely forgotten and I don't even hear people even refer to Palladio anymore. 
they used to be sold at Sally Beauty, but now it's like they're just gone. And which is really sad because they did have some really good high quality stuff. This is one of their blush sticks, but it's so light that it can't be used as a blush, blush stick even for me, even though I'm whiter than paper. So this one I use as a highlighter underneath other blush. It's really pretty. It has a very soft hue to it. And it also has a little bit of a sheen to it and I really like it. They, they have several different colors of this and some of them are a little bit more matte. I actually use this in between my highlighter and my blushes, just kind of a go-between. It's just really pretty and I think that it's a shame that these have all, you know, kind of disappeared from everybody's radar because they're not that expensive and yet they're really still very pretty. And yeah, I really like them and check them out if you haven't seen them before. Otherwise, get them out of your drawer and I think you'll like them again. Another one that I recently rebought because mine was old and starting to separate in the bottle. And that is the Tarte Double Duty Beauty Face Tape Foundation. I used almost my whole thing except for, you know, again, I'm a YouTuber and I test things out. And so when the latest thing comes on, I'm on to something else. But this particular foundation, as soon as I used it, I knew I was going to love it because it gave me that dewy skin that I want in my mature skin without showing up any texture. It also covered so pretty that I was super impressed with that. And it lasts a long time on my face. I really thought that they hit it out of the park with this. And this was like really quickly passed over. It was like people liked it. The people that didn't like it really didn't like it. So it was like just pushed to the back really quickly. But this is still being sold by them. So it's still a really big seller of theirs. However, nobody talks about it anymore. I love it. I think it's one of those that is so super easy to wear. This is one of those ones that is a medium coverage that you can sheer out, put it, uh, you know, drop a moisturizer, drop a primer. You're going to have a skin tint or two coats and you're going to have fuller coverage. It's just a really great versatile foundation. I really love it. And then the MAC. These are so pretty. Why is there nobody talking about MAC anymore? It's like they have some of the most iconic makeup around and nobody talks about them. I don't even hardly hear their lipsticks talked about anymore, which makes me so sad. So these are all the powder blushes. The colors I have, um, this one is a satin and it's called Fleur Powder, Power, Fleur Power. Pretty mauve color, really pretty mauve color. I just love, love, love this color. And that's just a beautiful color for me. And then the next one is Mocha. Oh, this is a beautiful color if you have like, um, light medium skin tone you want a very natural tone to your skin you're gonna love this color because it's so soft and these blend so easy i mean these were the ultimate when they first came out this one says breath of plum this is the one i've had the longest this is the one that made me fall in love with their blushes and it was because it's the only one that i had ever seen that had anything close to like a, a burgundy or a berry or anything like that and it had just a tiny tiny bit of lilac in it Oh, this made me fall in love with blush. And I forgot even myself how much I do love this particular color. And this one's going to stay out for me even. So yeah, these are just, they're gems. They're just the most beautiful blushes. And if you get the chance to grab them, they're gorgeous. These right here, Nabla's Baked Products. Nabla came out at Ulta probably... I would say probably three or four years ago. And these baked products knocked my socks off. First of all, this is the most beautiful bronzer, uh, baked bronzer. It's called Soft Revenge. And when I first started using them, I'm like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to like that. And then when I put my finger in there and I started to blend it out, I found that not only was it just a great baked product, but it was one of those ones that you didn't have to worry about getting too much on at once. I think that sometimes we forget that makeup is easier to build up than it is to take off. So, you know, you start out, we all start out trying to have such a soft hand. Well, it's so much easier if you don't have to because the product is a little bit stiffer and comes out a little bit less intense. And I think that's what these Nabla products do, except for their highlighter that I'm gonna show you in a second. This is gorgeous. It's a perfect, 
contour slash bronzer so I can use it for both especially when I have a self tan and I'm bronzing up my face so pretty and then here is my favorite blush from them this one is called independence it's a very mauvey color right up my alley very very pinky peach just a pretty color and again you don't have to worry about getting too much on because you're going to need to build it up I forget how much I love these. I even looking at these, I'm mad at myself because I want to remember and use these up. And then this one right here is called Ozone and it is their baked highlighter. One of you told me about this years and years ago, and I hope you're still a subscriber. And if you are, you are welcome to tell me I'm the one that told you about it, Melissa. It, this is gorgeous. This is a little bit softer because it is the highlighter, but oh my word. That is so pretty. It is, it's just the perfect highlighter for just about anybody. Even if you have deep skin, you could use this on your inner corner. You could use this under your blush. You could use this across your eyelids and you'd have this gorgeous color. And for anybody that's fair like I am, it's gorgeous too because it is light enough that it's not going to look more like a sparkly blush, if I'm making sense there. It's a beautiful metallic, just a pretty sheen, just a pretty little shine going on there. So those are all of them, and I just think they're very, very special. And that was my last one. That was my last hidden gem. I'm so glad that I went through my drawers and found all of this stuff. And I know that you have to have, have a couple in your drawers. And if you do, will you let me know down below which of these that you have that you really like. And remember to pull them out and tell me how much you're liking them now as compared to when you bought them however long ago. Most of these were purchased by me years ago. So I'm enjoying them all over again. Everything that is old is new again. I think that's what I'm going to call this video. So I hope that you're doing really well. Please take care of yourselves. Come back around really soon and I'll have another brand new video for you. Love you guys so very much. Goodbye.